Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As we'll see there, the US markets are coming up again, uh, trading below uh, 16401. Next potential support is at 16178. As uh, you know, the conflict in the Middle East begins to get a little bit more dicey with American airstrikes and ISIS positions last night, and obviously the sanctions with um, with Russia, more problems over Ukraine, the deteriorating situation in Iraq and Kurdistan. Um, there's a lot of reasons to take money off the table right now, and uh, since it's been such a period of low volatility uh, up until you know about two weeks ago, uh, you know this pretty much everybody now making the decision about whenever or not to stay in or get out of the markets and certainly it looks to be an exacerbated move here um, since there's no one specific piece of information that, that, that's causing the slide it is be a tandem of um, of, uh, of info over the last couple of, of weeks that have finally come home to roost so to speak so the US 30 there uh, certainly feeling the pressure UK 100 as well breaking below potential support at 65.81 looking now for next potential support at 65.19 um, it'll be worth us having a look at a Fibonacci retracement on um, the UK 100 at some point soon. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that now, just to get a bit of a flavour of where these uh, where these levels could be. Uh, if we just go up like this, you can actually see we're just we're just about, about to break that 38.2% uh, retracement, which is the first real retracement level that people look at. 50% retracement is at 64.58, which is also another um, support level that we had drawn on there. So. Um, that'll be worth keeping an eye on from the, at some point in the future. So looking at Japan, 225 has had a proper technical breakout as well, breaking below 49.77. Uh, quite, that's a very strong technical breakout right there. Next potential support is at 14.219, and uh, most other markets are with the US dollars a little, a little, a little bit over the shop. Obviously, Japanese yen is um, is in vogue. Gold is shooting up. Safe havens are the order of the day. Bonds, etc. Uh, all going the same direction. Looking at, um, at dollar yen, it's kind of erased almost all of its gains it's had over the last couple of sessions. Looking at 101 spot 35 as the next potential support, followed by 100 spot 80. Um, crude oil West Texas uh, bouncing off um, potential support at 97 spot 64, uh, hitting resistance at $99 again, and already it's beginning to sell off ever so slightly. Um, close to the tip of that uh, potential resistance so that might be a retracement before we go back down um, to 97 spot 64 if that's not the case the next potential resistance is 100 spot 61 so gold is finally getting its moment in the sun uh, really strong uh, last three sessions still going great guns today next potential resistance 1332 what class classic wedge breakout uh, trading above both 21 and 55 period SMAs and technical indicator showroom for further manoeuvres. So if we, begin, if we continue to see a decline in equity markets uh, and the rush for safe havens, Japanese yen will be good to look at, as will gold. So look at dollar yen, euro yen and, uh, and, and gold primarily. So moving on to euro dollar, I uh, had a slight uh, bounce this morning. Uh, we've been making a series of lower lows on the uh, on these candles right here um, but I think pressure still remains in the eurozone um, but we'll have to wait for uh, to see if there's any decent data out matter of fact there's nothing today apart from UK data at 930 trade balance uh, details which would be good for cable and the UK 100 if you're looking to trade that and I mean good not as in it's going to help it move up potentially but that if there is a negative number it could be a, an additional catalyst and looking at uh, cable it's been bouncing around one spot 68.20 for the last couple of sessions. Trade below it today. Had a little attempt to push back higher, but the next potential support is at one spot 67.44. So the pressure is certainly on. And that um, bit, bit of data is due out at 9.30 UK time if you're lucky enough to get this video to that point. That's the next hour and 15 minutes. So keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make sure you make insights part of your layout. And actually, before I sign off, let's have a quick look to see what's actually. So remember, um, that on Saturday you've got some Chinese data, so you've got uh, Chinese CPI and PPI. That they've been going great guns actually. Chinese data has been very, very good recently. Um, but if we fast forward on to Monday, nothing much Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday you've got Eurozone PMI, UK PMI, and ISM manufacturing data. Oh no, that's not correct. That was last Monday. My mistake. Uh, Monday, nothing. Tuesday you got the ZEW business report. That'll be big for the DAX. Wednesday, the 13th. Um, You've got employment data from the UK and you've got usual crude oil data on Wednesday. So there's not a huge amount of fundamentals out, uh, which means that technicals and the wider global economic 
uh, from the macro viewpoint will be will be looked at for traders and uh, effectively anything over the weekend about uh, a worsening situation Ukraine Iraq everything else would be another excuse to, to sell anyway join me again on Monday to find out what happened next